हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट कार्बन एंड इट्स ऑलोट्रॉप एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ग्रेफाइट नाउ यू कैन सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्रेफाइट एंड अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्रेफाइट वी विल टॉक लेटर एंड वाई इट इज द कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी also we will discuss later now first we will talk about what is graphite graphite is the one of the very common allotrope of carbon it is also the most stable allotrope of carbon yes my dear student it is a one of the most stable allotrope of carbon you know my dear student graphite is grayish black colored substance it is smooth and slippery to touch yes my dear student when you touch the graphite na you will feel very slippery i think you have seen the graphite it is present in the lead of your pencil and once you rub the pencil lead on your nail you feel the slippery touch now we will talk about occurrence of graphite graphite occur naturally in sri lanka korea china and india and in india it is found in bihar odisha tamil nadu rajasthan andhra pradesh and jammu and kashmir these are the state where you can get the graphite now we will talk about structure of graphite it is a very very important my dear student please see carefully the structure of graphite then you will understand that why it is the conductor of electricity why it is slippery to touch in graphite it is hexagonal structure each carbon atom is only covalently bonded to three other atom means one carbon is attached with the other three carbon rather than four as in diamond actually in the case of diamond you can see that you can see one carbon is attached with the other four carbon the top one you can see that second carbon is attached with the four carbon means in the case of diamond one carbon is attached with the four carbon that's why it has tetrahedral structure but in the case of graphite you can see that one carbon is attached with other three carbon and fourth bond is between two layer you can see the dot line between two layers that is the fourth bond and it is a very very weak bond between the third and fourth carbon and this is called bendel wall force of attraction so it is very weak and whenever there is some jerk it will be broken down and then the carbon will have extra free electron and because of presence of free electron graphite can conduct electricity in your examination it can be asked why graphite is a conductor of electricity because of presence of free electron you can see in figure one carbon is attached with other three carbon and fourth one is a very big bond that's why it will be broken down also you can see in figure there is a layer between two carbon layer means carbon are arranged in the form of layer that's why they are slippery in touch whenever there is some jerk one layer slide over the other layer and that's why you can write with the graphite on the paper so my dear student it is very clear the structure of diamond and graphite now we will talk about the preparation of graphite graphite can be prepared by artificially by heating powdered coke with little sand and ferric oxide in electric furans to a temperature about 3000 degrees celsius means we have to heat the mixture of coke sand and ferric oxide at 300 degrees 3000 degrees celsius you can see in image sio2 that is formula of sand mixed with the carbon and it is heated 
at 3000 degrees Celsius. What is formed? Carbon monoxide and silicon carbide. And then after getting silicon carbide, it is mixed with the ferric oxide. In the second case, you can see that after mixing with the ferric oxide, you will get silicon and plus C. C stands for graphite, not the stand for the coke. So here you can see that first we add silicon, di silicon oxide with the carbon, you will get carbon monoxide and silicon carbide and then silicon carbide react with ferric oxide, you will get the graphite and this is the equation for the preparation of artificial graphite. Please note down in your copy, it is very very important. Hello my dear student, now we will talk about the properties of graphite. It is grayish black opaque structure lighter than diamond smooth and slippery to touch already we have discussed graphite is soft and slippery to touch it is a good conductor of electricity and why because of it has free electron and because of free electron it behave as a good conductor and it is also the good conductor of heat graphite is a crystalline solid because it has fixed geometry and already I have seen the structure of graphite it is a non inflammable soft due to weak van der Waal forces why they are soft already we have discussed because of graphite is present in the form of layer and one layer can slide over the another layer that's why it is a soft now we will talk about uses of graphite the conduction property of graphite make it useful and that's why graphite is used in making electrodes electrical contact in the motors yes my dear student in a motor it is also used for electrical contact second one is that because of slippery property it is used in lead in a pencil or a solid lubricant that's why solid graphite is used in a high moving high moving machine because high moving machine produce huge amount of heat and in that case graphite is working as a lubricant therefore it is used as a lubricant in a machine because graphite as a has high melting and boiling point already we have discussed the boiling point and melting point of the graphite now we will talk about the difference between graphite and diamond here differences are given diamond is transparent graphite is black and opaque diamond is a poor conductor of electricity but it is a good conductor of heat whereas graphite is a good conductor of heat as well as electricity and why it is a conductor of electricity already we have discussed diamond is the hardest natural substances and graphite is soft and slippery to touch density of diamond is more whereas density of graphite is comparatively less it is insoluble in all solvent and in the case of graphite it is insoluble in all organic solvent diamond is the ultimate abrasive and graphite is a very good lubricant yes my dear student already we have discussed why it is used as a lubricant diamond crystalline is occur in the form of octahedral crystal and whereas graphite is found in the form of hexagonal crystal so these are the differences between diamond and graphite note down in your copy my dear student next classes we will talk about another allotrope of carbon like
बकमिस्टर फ्यूरेंसेस टिल देन थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे माय डी स्टूडेंट